Everything populating the heavens and the earth, including the animals, the mountains, the skies, and the earth, are all in state of submission to the sovereignty of Allah. They are living for, obedient to, in submission to, and are at the disposal of God and His laws. They all exist in state of Islam. Everything in nature functions according to fixed laws set forth by the Creator and cannot deviate from those laws. The sun knows its role. It knows the cycle of its rotation. It knows its role as the giver of light, heat, and energy on earth. The earth knows its rotation cycle around its own axis. Your own eyes, heart, brain, your entire body, and all of its components are working subject to the laws of nature and have no choice but to do as they are intended. The sun, the moon, the stars, the mountains, the trees, the animals, the whole universe all exist in a state of subjugation to Allah, all prostrate to Him, with all of them worshipping Him in an appropriate manner, in a way that we may not understand. All of the creation praises, worship, and lives in submission to the Almighty in their own unique way. God's creation prostrates to Him as per to its nature, even if they do not press their foreheads to the ground. All of God's creations know their mission and purpose. Just like the physical world submits to its Lord, human beings must submit to the will and law of God. Man is expected to worship and praise his Creator, much like the creations around him are continuously praising God in humility. Unlike other creations of God, man was gifted with the qualities of intelligence, the ability to comprehend and understand, and the wisdom to think, reflect, and ponder over his Creator as well as his life purpose. Man was also gifted with the ultimate beauty of expression and with the ability to make choices and decisions. All humans are born with an innate eagerness and ability to seek God, to recognize and understand the existence of the Creator. Once many discover the truth, they hasten to submit to Allah, entering into a state of total submission. Islam fundamentally answers the questions that trouble the conscience of every human being. Why was I created? What am I doing here? What is my life's purpose? Where am I headed? Islam answers all of these massive life questions. God has reinforced man's natural disposition with the signs that he has planted throughout creation to testify to his existence. Man faces a choice to submit to God like all other creations or to go astray and violate God's laws. All will be held accountable for their choices. The Quran teaches that the signs and proofs of God's knowledge Wisdom, power, mercy, and existence are evident in the world around us. Together they point to the existence of a creator, a maker, a fashioner. This creation is flawless and perfect. Life on earth and in the universe itself demonstrates so much order, purpose, intelligence, and design, all of which prove the existence of a creator that designed and fashioned everything. Among the many blessings and favors that God has bestowed upon mankind is an innate ability to recognize and acknowledge God's existence. God placed this awareness deep in man's heart in the form of a natural disposition, one that has not changed since the creation of man. Thus God calls on man to ponder, reflect, and think deeply about the design of this complex creation in order to build a better understanding of his creator. When one reflects, one realizes that the world and everything it contains was created with intelligence and infinite wisdom, not by chance. Recognizing the signs of God's existence would require a degree of personal effort, and this recognition must occur in accordance with his or her own wisdom and conscience. For the people who understand, everything around them is a sign of this creation. Pondering upon the intricacy and order of this magnificent creation would help one come to the conclusion that this glorious universe indeed had a wise creator who crafted, fashioned, molded everything. One would eventually perceive that the fact that the entire universe, including oneself and one owns body, is created by a superior power. A person's purpose in life is to find God, build a relationship with Him, and engage in a continuous effort to submit to His will. The best joy and the most peace that one can achieve in this world is derived from the servitude to God and to be obedient slave of God. God states unequivocally that humankind was created in order to worship Him. To worship God is to get to know Him, learn His names and attributes, to love Him, to obey His commandments and to enforce His laws in every aspect of life. To worship God is to serve His cause, engaging in the struggle and the quest of doing right, shunning evil, and being just. 
according to the Quran, following and obeying God's commandments and refraining from prohibited activities would make one's life easier and lighten one's burdens. God states that if you abide by his advice, then he will relieve the burdens of your life, rendering your existence much easier and more relaxed. You would find contentment in the heart. You would find more peace and harmony, not only within yourself, but with the things and people around you. God has given mankind a set of laws to follow so that when one would have an easier and more enjoyable life. Each of God's commandments is given to promote to one's own best interests. Anything that God makes impermissible is bad for the individual or for society. For example, alcohol is prohibited in Islam because of its dangers and evilness. A lot of studies and evidence demonstrate the effects and dangers of alcohol. Life in this world is a test for humankind. Everyone faces a separate and unique test. Some get tested through a life of poverty. Some are tempted by wealth. Some enjoy good health. Some suffer bad health, etc. At times, the Almighty tests His creation with calamities and sometimes with blessings to show who will be thankful and who will be ungrateful and to discover who will obey and disobey. Whereas the essential purpose for which humankind was created is embodied in the worship of God, the Almighty is not in need of human worship. He certainly did not create human beings out of a need to seek His glory. God exists without any needs. On the other hand, mankind was created with needs and wants. Thus, it is mankind that is in need of worshiping God. Human beings need to worship and glorify God by obeying divinely revealed laws because obedience to God is the key to success in this life and the hereafter. In glorifying God, man chooses to be in harmony with the rest of the creation, an act which naturally glorifies the Creator all throughout the day and night, in its own unique manner. Our Prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.